ain't thinking about you. I ain't sorry. You I ain't sorry. Mm, what? He trying to roll me up. I ain't sorry. Yeah, that dude is up. I ain't sorry. He trying to roll me up. I ain't sorry. I ain't picking up. I ain't sorry. Yeah, I'm headed to the club. I think that's what she said. I ain't sorry. I ain't thinking about you. I ain't sorry. Me and my lady set the deuce up. I don't give a fuck. Check in my deuces up. Damn, suck on my balls, balls. I had enough. <laughs> I ain't thinking about you. Duh. Mm. Middle fingers up. Put them hands high. Put them in his face. Tell him boy bye. Tell him boy bye. Boy bye. Middle fingers up. I ain't thinking about you. I ain't sorry. You, I ain't sorry. You, I ain't sorry. I ain't thinking about you. I ain't sorry. Okay, so somebody is not sorry. Somebody cut somebody off and they cut them off loud and proud, okay? Somebody is tired, all right? So I feel like somebody tried to give somebody one last chance or somebody has some faith, but the faith was just shaky, okay? Like, I don't know. The person is just it. I don't know. So somebody ain't sorry. Somebody cut somebody off. They about to go out. They about to celebrate, okay? Somebody about to turn up. I'm getting three of cups energy, okay? Somebody definitely ghosted somebody. Like, I feel like somebody just... Like, I'm not dealing with you no more, and I'm not sorry, okay? So, somebody could be like, um, somebody has been very patient with someone, and they are fed up. The hermit is patient, and they're quiet, and they get downloads from spirit. Okay, so a spirit guy could have told you to let something go, or told you a truth revelation. Okay, something could have happened in a dream. Y'all had two vivid dreams last night. Two. Okay, so Spirit could have told you something in a dream. All right, something like that. Okay, and you ain't sorry. Okay, you could have seen your own destiny. You could have seen what was promised to you. But first, you had to let somebody, you had to ghost somebody. You had to let somebody go. Okay, not necessarily ghost. Okay, just don't say nothing, no reasons. But I feel like you literally had to remove your energy from this person. So if it calls for blocking, ghosting, whatever it is, you had to do it. Because there's something better destined for you. And this person has been blocking it the whole time. Okay, your money could have been ghost with the hermit here. Okay, stuff, you know, the, the abundance could have been ghost. They won't hear when this person was, okay? that that Their presence was a blockage, okay? So you ain't thinking about somebody no more. And now you're victorious. Six of wands here, okay? There's a whole victory here, okay? You're going to be able to give and receive to somebody else. This person's going to be begging for your forgiveness, begging for another chance, okay? So you leaving somebody behind is going to trigger that, oh, I do love her, but oh, you don't give a fuck now, okay? You ain't sorry. You ain't thinking about them. I ain't sorry. Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah, Virgo here. Ain't Beyonce a fucking Virgo? Period. I love Beyonce, okay? Period. So, yeah, this you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? A Virgo would be significant, okay? Somebody about to get somebody new without even looking because you finna be in this bright, vibrating energy. You finna attract in exactly what you want because you not backing down no more. Once you got that truth, it could have triggered you, could have angered you, but it freed you. It freed you. And with that freeness... It brings in what is actually actually destined for you, okay? You're going to be able to receive what you've really been putting out here, okay? You've been putting out all this good energy but not getting that shit back. you about to get this shit back in tenfold, mark my words. Ten of fucking pinnacles. you about to get this shit back in tenfold. you about to have a victory. Anybody who spoke on you, anybody who doubted you, anybody who wished for failures in your relationship and your finances, okay, when it comes to your happiness, they're all going to be begging for fucking forgiveness when you come up the way that you are. With this ten of pinnacles and the six of wands, you about to be victorious. you about to be on top, okay? you This shit going to sneak up on you. It's going to sneak up on you. You've been real quiet about what you've been trying to bring in, but you ain't understand what was blocking you. Once you figure that shit out, it's off from here. It's up from here. All that, all that shit is gone. It's out the window. So somebody about to be in this miraculous energy. Somebody's about to be a walking miracle. Mark my words. I'm telling you this. Somebody about to be a walking miracle, okay? And somebody's going to be seeing this shit. This is what happened here. Somebody's going to be seeing this shit, and they're going to be like, damn, all I had to do was participate in this relationship, all I had to do was was give this person what they was desi give this person what they deserve, give this person what they put in. But this person didn't, and they finna see you come the fuck up. For some of y'all, somebody gonna see your ass on TV. Somebody gonna see your ass on TV, hear you on the radio, some crazy shit. And they be like, oh, oh, oh. Sick to their fucking stomach. 
You're not sorry though. You're not sorry about shit because you did your job when you was dealing with this person. You were true. You were genuine. Somebody tried to walk over you though. Some This person could have tried to ghost you. Have you all up in your head quiet and not in your true energy, not in your true essence, not being able to manifest, okay? Somebody could have had you in this sorrow ass energy. This shit is backfiring. I'm sorry. I ain't thinking about you. I'm sorry. You, yeah, this person in their head, they in their head for how they did you. They real. it's like, as soon as you cut the sword, when you really, it's, this is some binding shit. This is some binding, look at this, look at this, look at this. These little chains. Somebody could have been trying to bind your finances to them, some weird shit. Somebody was trying to bind you to them so you won't even see the fucking truth. But oh no. When spirit whispered the truth to you, showed you a dream, told you something, okay? You had that revelation, that epiphany. Girl, that's when motherfuckers got scared. Because, oh shit, she not in my trance no more. Somebody literally could have had your ass under a trance. Literally. Don't don't put nothing past... Mm -mm. Don't put nothing past these masculines because a lot of these masculines be doing that dark shit. There's some dark people out here, dark entities. And people don't even be thinking like, what, the masculine? Nah, you know. You know exactly what this person was trying to This person was trying to hold you back. They was never going to give you what you wanted. And I feel like you didn't understand that, but spirit made a revelation happen to you. They showed you something. They told you something. And now you know the truth. You could Something that you could not see, you didn't understand before, becomes true. You see how this lady is leaping? She's free. It frees you. And that's what brings in this victory. That's what brings in this happiness. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Spirit freed you. Thank spirit right now. Thank spirit because you finna be so abundant, bro. The blessings that's finna come to you is finna be tenfold. Ten of pentacles, tenfold. Okay, if you have financial lacks, you have financial problems, it has something to do with this damn person. You was giving your energy, which is a currency, to this person. And they robbed you. They robbed you of your energy. They robbed you of your natural currency. So when you remove this person, all your currency and your fucking abundance returns to you. All your energy returns to you. All that power that you gave returns back to you. You are empowered at this time. Sit in this fucking energy, bro. Because I'm feeling like this is a real lesson to you. You're even looking back at yourself two days ago, three days ago. Like, damn, why was I? That, this, you, you're going to look at yourself and how the shift happened so quick. Because this was literally you. Not that long ago. Could have been yesterday. Could have been two days ago. Could have been last week. But now this is you. Listening to your intuition. You could have not been trusting your intuition at the time with this person. Because you was believing the bullshit. Okay, you was binded to some shit and somebody is asking for forgiveness now because you done got the truth about being trapped. You done got the truth about this person's true intentions. They hit it well. They hit it well with the hermit here. They hit it well, their intentions. But you found that out. Who gonna hide what when dealing with a high priestess? Hmm? I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. What messages you got, spirit? I ain't thinking about you. I ain't sorry. So this person, you're going to be clouding this person's head because you done released yourself of this person. And look, this is the fucking truth. I ain't lying. You're going to be clouding this person's head. They're going to be in remorse and sorrow for how they chose to do you. When you were genuine. When you were kind. When you were receptive. When you were giving. When you were the, was the fucking truth. You was the truth. You The high priestess with the ace of swords, you was the truth. You was a person that was tapped in and you seen a, you seen a better, you seen a better destiny for this person. You seen a better future for this person. You had, you seen something, this could have went somewhere, right? But they tried to play you. And when they tried to play you, they played the divine. And that's that, that's your own situation now. Cause now I'm gonna remove you cause spirit and let me know what you done did to me, but what you done also did to them. And now you're going to have to deal with this five of cups ass shit by yourself. Okay, it's no ties, it's no chains, it's no binding to this shit. Okay, this person's energy and karma could have been tied to you. And you ain't even know because you was under a trance. In a fucking spell or some shit. <laughs> I'm so serious. Ace of Swords here, this is the fucking truth. I ain't lying about it. Yeah, Ten of Swords here, you and this, this is over with. This shit was burdensome. It hurt you. You could have cried a lot. You could have been frustrated a lot. You could have been angry a lot. Okay, this was another bag of luggage and bullshit that you ain't need to take. And so you put it into it because this shit would have killed you. It would have took you out. It would have killed your spirit. It would have killed your light. It would have killed your fucking inner knowing. 
It would have killed this connection that you got with God, that you got with your ancestors. All that shit would have been diminished if you would have kept fucking with this person. You would have kept adding more loads to your back when you know you can barely handle them ten of wands already. You weren't supposed to have all them ten of wands. You only had the fucking six. Where the hell them extra four came from? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Somebody was burdening you. And you put it into this shit, and this shit is going back to this person. They can't handle what they was putting out. They can't handle how they was treating somebody, and that shit happening back to them. The way they treated you, somebody gonna treat them the same way. Spirit told you let this person go. They did not value you, period. They did not value you. They didn't know you was the Ten of Pentacles. They ain't know you was the Ten of Pentacles. They just thought you was the Six of Pentacles. You, six of Pentacles. you was just gonna give and give and give and give and never receive. But they don't work like that in the, in the divine. That is unbalanced. That is imbalance. That is unjust. Especially when you're fucking with somebody with pure intentions. This person had fucked up intentions. Yep, so the divine had to say something. They didn't know you was the Ten of Pentacles. And they, and they didn't know that you was going to be blessed. Now, what you wanted or seek from them, all they had to do, right? You're going to get this shit in tenfold from your actual partner. This person was supposed to be your masculine, but they ain't get it right. They tried to play the fucking divine and they tried to play you. And so therefore karma comes back. Spirit removes you so you can get what you really was supposed to receive the whole time. They didn't stand up to their part of the deal when it came with God. It stroked their ego, so they tried to play you. I ain't sorry. You're not sorry about shit. You don't care if somebody's crying. You don't care to hear somebody's excuses. You're done. I feel like somebody is blocked. No communication, no contact. Their number is blocked. No more. You don't even say shit. You just block them. Like, I'm fucking done, period. This shit is done. This was way too much. You didn't... This is 20 bullshit. 10 wands and 10 swords. This would have took you out. This is too much. And you had no business going through this because you had a victory to be celebrating. But you couldn't even see your own victory because you was blinded. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. Hell no. <laughs> now you want to see me crying. Now you want to call. I'm sorry. What she say? Now you want to see me crying. And I'm the one that's wildin'. And I don't feel bad about it. Exactly what you get. So stop interrupting my pockets. You interrupting my pockets. Is that what she said? I ain't thinking about you. Look at me creating lyrics. I ain't thinking about you. Period. She yelling that shit. Because she not. Her mind is free. Eight of swords out of here, okay? Somebody was interrupting your fucking pockets. They was interrupting your growth. When it comes to that money, okay? They had to go. You don't feel sorry. No, I'm don't you call me crying now i'm the one that's what she say now i'm the one that's so so you could be laughing you could be celebrating you could be happy smiling at this time now i'm the one that's smiling i'm making all types of lyrics sorry beyonce but look i can't remember it. <laughs> but look so no for real you is like i'm taking my power back period and with that being said you do not feel no remorse for this person this person played the fuck out of you they played the fuck they played the fuck out of you for no reason you had such good intentions they played the fuck out of you. That's the truth. They did. And they put all this on you for no reason. When you came in, open arms. This person going to be begging for fucking forgiveness, bro. Mark my words. And you don't want to hear that shit. You don't want to hear the truth now. When you found it out through spirit. No. The fuck I need to hear it from you for? That's the truth too, Sun Card. This is the fucking truth, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be a fucking Leo. You're like, oh, hell no. Nah. Okay, I'm definitely getting strength card energy. Okay, that inner strength needs to come out. Now you're feeling bright. Now you're feeling powerful. Now you're feeling happy. Now you're shining. You're finna get everything that you fucking want, okay? Your energy is fucking through the roof, bro. All your shit got back restored. Everything got back restored to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person was blocking you. They were blocking you. Okay, and now you're finna be your best self. I'm telling you, somebody finna see your ass on TV. Somebody finna see your ass on TV. I don't care. I don't know how the fuck is gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do. Somebody gonna see your ass on TV. They're gonna see, uh, or, you know, or, you know how people, um, like, some, on, on some type of big-ass broadcast, somebody's gonna see you upgrade like fuck and be sick to their stomach. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Damn, I seen the justice card. That's good. You getting good justice. I just seen 1444. Okay, period. 444. You finna be secure. 
happy, stable as fuck, okay? Ain't no more instability, especially when it comes to your mind. You could have been mentally unstable and, and not saying in an unhealthy way, but your mind, what you, you were being tricked, deceived. Messages for, I ain't sorry, period. Did I not say you was going to be on TV? Somebody finna blow up. Somebody finna be a fucking star. And that's why this person will be sick like this. Because they didn't know they had a grand present, a, a grand gift in their life. And this is not shit that you need to prove to somebody. Somebody should have been genuine with you. You don't have to prove your wealth or your success to somebody. Because if you got to do that, that person going to use you any fucking way. But somebody used you and they even fucking know you. They just had ill intent. And because of that, this person is going to get karma. And you will still reach your destiny. You will still get recognized. You will still be blessed. You will still be rewarded by spirit. Everything you hoped and prayed for is going to show up in your life materially. Watch. It's going to show up in your life materially. You're going to be so happy this person will not even be a memory. They don't live there no more. Somebody got cut the fuck up out of your head. You see how this ace of swords in the clouds? Ain't no clouds in your head. You know the truth. You know the fucking truth. And, and with that being said, why would I hurt myself again? Why would I hurt myself thinking of a different outcome when I got the true outcome? When spirit told me the truth. I ain't sorry. What on I ain't sorry, spirit? Five of pinnacles. Somebody's going to be left out in the cold for trying to do this shit to you. They want to work on something with you now because they feel in lack. They feel impoverished. They feel like they, they fucked up. And they, they finna be getting karma. Karma could be in the form of five of pentacles. And now they want to work on something with you. No, ma'am. is what I heard. Loud and clear. No, ma'am. Or no, sir. Whatever the fuck. Right? Because you're, you're, vibra you're way past this person in elevation. Not to downput nobody. But this the way that they blocked you. And you're, the way that they blocked you. Take it personal. Because you could have had this ten of pentacles. This, this tenfold of fucking blessings. If this person was not there, but they had to teach you this lesson. So you won't go through this again. And so you won't bring the wrong people up with you. You're finna be a real star out here. You finna be a real fucking star out here. I'm not lying. You finna be really, you finna be really popping. You finna be looking, it's summertime too. You finna be looking good. It's finna be a lot of people wanting to talk to you, communicate with you. They gonna want to sit at your table because she popping. She the star. What's wrong with you? This person about to be feeling so embarrassed. For how they did you. Embarrassed to say I knew her or I used to talk to her or I used to. Yeah. Because motherfuckers going to be like, you're stupid. You, this, bro, you're about to upgrade so much. Prosperity is about to rain on you like a fucking thunderstorm, bro. I promise you. And this, this shit is, it has always been yours. But this person blocked that shit because they had ill intent. And I feel like it, it tr it's triggering like this because... You literally was trying to see the good in somebody. You literally had hope and faith that there was a better person in here. <laughs> but you learned your lesson. What people show you is the truth. Stop looking past it. Don't trick yourself. What people show you, how people treat you, that's their true character. That's the truth. And now you realize that. And so you're not feeding. Putting hope and faith and planting and watering seeds. You're not feeding shit that, that takes from you. You're not feeding and, and nurturing shit that takes from you. You're not healing um, or recovering shit that has destroyed you. And then you built yourself back up and they destroyed you again. You're not finna heal no situation with none of that. You're cutting it out. You're letting that shit go because at this point, they're playing with your life. And at this point, if you let them back in, you will let them play with your life. You're standing in your power and you're claiming what's yours. That's what the fuck is happening here. And somebody is embarrassed because I feel like they had another side to them, but they wanted to, 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 to do some fraud shit to you. Okay. The way this success is about to come in is about to come in tenfold. A lot of y'all, you about to get the home that you want, but this cancer, this cancer, the home car, this chariot here, you about to get the home that you want. Your home about to be beautiful. I'm telling you. Okay, you about to be in love, okay? Your home about to be, like, luxurious. So, okay, even if it's not in a luxurious neighborhood or it's not a luxurious apartment, you about to make it luxury, okay? Type shit, okay? You, you about to upgrade. You about to take off with this chariot here with the star card? Shit. That's a shooting star. That's a shooting star. Talk about it. That's a shooting fucking star. What, what do people do when they see a shooting star? They make a fucking wish. And what happens? The wish get granted. 
Your wish is about to be fucking granted, okay? Think of this situation as a shooting star. Go ahead and make a wish of what you want to bring in your life because you just did exactly what spirit wanted you to do. Cut out the blockage. Cut out the negative shit. Cut out that dark ass shadow that's in your way. You ain't see it like that though. I promise you, you ain't did it and it's okay. It happens like that. A lot of people be tricksters and they are deceivers. And you know, sometimes we trust people and what they show us to the point where we don't listen to our discernment. It happens, it's okay. But during your spiritual journey, you learn to learn from your past mistakes and experiences, okay? It's not a mistake, it's a lesson. It taught you something. You will not have to go through this again. You will not have to feel that pain again. You will not have to feel that rejection, that, that turn down, that I'm not good enough bullshit again. When you are it, you are a divine feminine. You are a blessing. Somebody turned down a blessing. Somebody betrayed a blessing. Play with a divine blessing. You will never feel lack when it comes to love. You will always feel fulfilled when it comes to love. Speak this shit. I have my true love. My true love is out here. He, he on the way to me right now. My person has integrity. I can trust them. My person is stable. My person is an emperor in human form. My person is a divine masculine. He found me in this big ass world. He found me. Speak that shit. Okay? Because you're going to meet somebody that's going to be on your level. This person was not on your level. But you know, you could have thought that. It was a trick. It was, it, it was an illusion. Someone created an illusion. But you had to see through it. And once you did, you freed yourself. She's literally like fucking floating. Yeah. I promise you, babe. Message for I ain't sorry. You ain't sorry because you finna get everything that you want. You show sure is. You left this, sh this shit clean behind in the dust. Three of wands. You going forward. You ain't looking back. This person back is. You see they back. They, you ain't looking back. You're not looking black. You're not unblocking. You're not. No. You're not giving no energy. No. None of that. You called all your energy and power back. And you finna put all that shit in you and your dreams and goals. And watch this shit take off. Watch this shit take off. I'm telling you, bro. A powerful person here. You cut this person. Yeah, it was upside down. It was upside down. What? Look at this. You cut this person clean off. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. When you cut this person off, you stabilize yourself. You brought in your own abundance by stepping in your power. Congratulations. I love you, okay? I fucking love you. Okay, I really do.